Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. I'm Chris and I'm back with another awesome tutorial video. In this video, I'll show you a complete guide on how to build a full wave regulator for a motorcycle. This regulator with its outstanding performance can protect your motorcycle's electrical system and battery. If you're looking for a great and ideal regulator for your motorcycle, don't miss this amazing tutorial. Watch the video till the end because it contains a lot of valuable tips. Stay with me. All right, I have a burnt out three phase regulator here and I want to use its body as a heat sink and enclosure. To do this, we need to completely empty its inside first. Let's show you. In the next step, we cut a piece of PCB to the exact side of it. That's it. In next step, we need to convert the schematic circuit into PCB design. Pay attention to my explanation in following. To do this, we need to draw the exact size of the components on paper. Here. Yeah. Like that. Here, we have a 2A input from the state of and one positive output go to the battery and one negative this is ground the positive terminal of the diode bridge go to the positive and the negative terminal go to the negative the AC inputs also connect the diode bridge ACs The negative go to the R3 resistor and from there go to the R4. The positive also go to the positive C1 capacitor and R1 resistor. We have a D1 Zener diode, 12 volt. The negative of the C1 go to the negative of the D1. And from there, the positive of the D1 go to the R3 resistor. This is a Q1 transistor. The emitter terminal of the Q1 transistor go to the positive line and the base terminal go to the negative of the C1 capacitor. And Q1 collector terminal go to the R2 resistor. R2 resistor with the D2 diode go to the gate of 
tyrester. Also here same. The cutout of the Q2 tyrester. Go to the anod of the Q3 tyrester. And cut out of the Q3 tyrosur, go to the anode terminal of the Q2 tyrosur, like that. And finally, AC from the diet bridge, go to the anodes. That's it. The PCB design is finished. Let's build the PCB. Well, before the final assembly, I need to explain a bit about the circuit. To prevent the components from the short circuiting, it's better to insulate some of the pins like this. And also for the bridge diode and tires you should use a good heat sink next i show you how to do this stay with me
Well friends, our full wave regulator is finally complete. Now we can trim the leads of the bridge diode and seal it with epoxy glue. But before that, let's test it on the motorcycle and see how it works. Be sure to like this video and share it with your friends. Thanks. Let's go. Alright friends, we've reached the end of this video. If you found it useful, make sure to like it, share your thoughts in the comments, and share it with your friends. If you enjoy this type of content, you can subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Thanks for sticking with me until the end. See you in the next tutorial.